if we move up a user level, so I'm now going to go up to advanced user, it's password protected, uh, and now some icons have now become available to us. So for instance, we have a, an edit icon, uh, and down here we've got some new icons for creating GNM code programs. So let's just try the, the edit icon. So here we can actually do some editing of the program, so now I can actually go in and change values. And actually this is quite a good place to start learning a little bit about GNM code programming. So we might set the scenario where we want to reduce the cycle time by a couple of seconds, and of course if we're making tens of thousands of these components then there would be a, a cost benefit. So if we actually go and uh, uh, try and change a value, so I'm going to change a value here. Every time we change something we have to re-simulate, so I'm going to change that and actually I've changed it and created an error. So it's actually checking for errors, it's checking that we don't create programs that we try and send to the machine that would cause damage to the machine, so it's stopped me at the line where the problem is, it's told me what the problem is, and now I have to correct it before we can, before we can carry on. So we can edit programs, and we can also create new programs. So if we come down here, we can create a new program. Again, we give it some information about the size of the component. And then we're presented with a blank GNM code program uh, and the material down here. Now, we could start typing codes if we knew what they were. Um, we could turn a little bit of help on here that tells us what codes are available in what column. But we do need quite a lot of programming knowledge to be able to program from this point. An alternative, we've got an intermediate step, which is more process-based, is to turn on conversational programming. So this will lead us through building the program up. So it knows we've got an empty program. It knows that we haven't got a tool. So the first thing it's asking is, please select a tool from the from the list. So we'll select the tool, click finish. We now have a tool brought into the, uh, the simulation view and we've got the first few lines of the program automatically created. So the tool's been called up and in fact the spindle's been set rotating and the feed rate has been set based on the material we selected when we came into the application. Uh, it now says, well what do you want to do next? So I'm going to do a, a, a rapid traverse uh, say go to a position a little bit closer to the uh, to the material. So I've asked it to go to 26.1. The readout now says 26.1. It's moved closer. And if I didn't know anything about GNM code program, I've now learned that a GWO is a rapid move. Okay. And then the application says, what would you like to do next? Well, we're going to do some axial cutting, so I'm going to remove some material. It says where's the end point of the material removal going to be? Okay, and then does it want to be a parallel cut or a tapered cut? Uh, we'll go tapered on this one. And then we click finish. And it has automatically removed that material. It did that in three passes and it's created a very authentic GNM code program We've used modal programming, so it's very efficient, and it's a program that you would see on industrial equipment uh, on the uh, in the workplace. Okay, and we can inter intermingle this with doing just standard programming as well by just typing the the codes as well. So we can switch in and out from normal programming and conversational programming.